Hey guys, Rednick here, and this is not a Dreamliner tutorial. This is just a preview of what to expect in the next Git pool. An exciting couple of new features for the Virtual Copilot. So let's get onward to awesomeness and check it out. In order to use these totally awesome new features, I'm first going to have to set myself up a route. I think I will start in Sydney and go to Brisbane. Now I'm going to check, um, what you call it, I'm going to check the weather in Brisbane, um, to decide which runway I'm going to land on. Take runway one. on this flight and go on to arrival. Now take this star. the root button I've generated a, a whole bunch more waypoints. It was pushed through the automatic for me I think, but it didn't work. And next I'm gonna have to work on those VNAV calculations as described in the um, tutorial for the flight management computer. Alright, I finished all my calculations for VNAV. Um, so, next we need is fuel load. Uh, I expect this flight to take about an hour, so I'm going to fuel in for two hours so that I have an hour in reserves when I land. Alright, fuel loaded, and finally we go to the approach screen. Now we're ready to start the engines and get going. Alright, engine started. I've entered the ILS frequency into the radio. One last thing to do is bring up the autopod dialog and check this box right here. That will keep um, the copilot from. Well, that will keep things from interfering with what the copilot's trying to do. Next, I'm going to. Activate all the copilot features and initialize it. Notice the last two features, they are the new ones. Manage airspeed setting and manage autopilot. So initialize. Virtual copilot initialized. 
laps set to 20 degrees for takeoff. And I activate the autopilot master switch and release the parking brake. So now I'm guiding the plane down the center of the runway.
Light flow. Light flow. Light flow. Light flow. 